What is going on guys? It's Ace here with another episode of South Park Phone Destroyer. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to go over some unreleased cards that were found in the code base. I will leave the link to the website that I pulled this information off of in the description down below. We have 10 cards here. The first card we're going to talk about is Blood Elf Baby. She is a fantasy card. Um, when she kills an enemy, her max HP increases, and I'm assuming she heals herself. Maybe she heals people also around her, but I believe she only heals herself. We don't have the energy cost for her just yet. And look at that, Medusa Bebe is destroying us. I like the Bebe cards. Um, Buccaneer Bebe, she is one of my favorites. So, kind of interested in seeing this card come out. Next card is Bounty Hunter Kyle. This card is first of a few sci-fi cards. Uh, Bounty Hunter Kyle is a flying card. Other than that we don't know too much about bounty hunter kyle but i do know i like star wars and i like the bounty hunter and this card is going to be amazing it's probably going to be like manifesto terrence and he will be ridiculously powerful so definitely look forward to having him on my side we need these rats to go ahead and get rid of zen cartman and she throws another Medusa baby the next card on our list is space assassin the website also has this card listed as space grunt I'm not sure why they're listed twice um, could be two different cards but they have the same image for both uh, they both are sci-fi cards um, there isn't much really on this card uh i have to believe this card is more like a butters card um it's probably gonna have high attack damage low hp and once you level it up it'll just continue to be a beast and do some beast work for you it looks like we're piling up here there we go we got that charge and next card is robo baby she is the last among the unreleased sci-fi cards. Um, she, her technical description is when she kills an enemy, it increases her attack speed, which this is insane. Buccaneer Bebe, when she kills somebody, she gets more powerful. So here we're looking at a faster speed, and I could only imagine because Buccaneer Bebe like when you get her up into the 50 damage she is beastly so this card is definitely one i'm looking forward to and it's going to help any sci-fi deck that you put her in that last match was crazy we held him to five health health points like that's just insane let's go ahead and open up this free deck here before we get into the next cards Maybe we'll find a legendary in this pack. I highly doubt it, but you never know. I... Oh, nothing. 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 Alright, Youth Pastor Craig. This is the first of our Mystic Theme Deck cards. The only description I have for this card is, Praise the Lord! But, I mean, he's gotta have some kind of special power. Maybe you put him in and he automatically heals the closest character. Um, maybe he's like Friar Jimmy and constantly healing other players while he's still alive. Um, that'd be insane though, because that would give the Mystic deck two healers that are always constantly healing. I couldn't imagine two of them being with the Zen Carmen. That would be like an unstoppable team. You'd be looking at like 15, 20 heal 
every second. That's just insane. But we'll see. Next card on our list is Zionist Ranger. And if you know anything about Zionist, um, it's a person who believes in the development and protection of a Jewish nation. Which, okay. I didn't know that. But the Zionist Ranger will attack with kosher candles. I believe this is going to be your next Nathan. Instead of throwing the hat bombs, he's going to be throwing kosher candles. Maybe you... If it hits somebody, it has a duration of keeping them on fire for a few seconds at a time. Uh, that's about the only thing I can come up with why it would be candles besides kosher candles has something to do with Jewism. But I look forward to playing with him. That's going to be interesting. Our next card and on to the neutral cards is Jesus. What else would Jesus do besides heal people? Um, Jesus is supposed to give 20 HP to nearby friendlies every 5 seconds. So, I don't know how effective this would be. 20 HP to nearby friendlies every 5 seconds. Like, that isn't much. Uh majority of your characters do over 20 damage and they swing probably about every half second to a second so and then we got president elect garrison he goes from being a school teacher to the president controlling enemies for three seconds at a time i don't know how he's gonna control them I mean, it's not like the sci-fi deck where he is able to put them on his team and make them go after the enemy. Um, it's probably going to be something like that, but that seems kind of weird for a neutral card. They uh, normally don't have that kind of power. Neutral cards are either strength or uh, splash damage, so... That's going to be interesting to see how it works out when they introduce this card to the game. And for our next neutral card, I think this is a card everybody's been waiting for. It's Terrence and Philip. The description says, let's queef in the face of our enemies. Not exactly how that's going to affect the enemies, but that's pretty different. I gotta say that. We can probably count these guys as a dull... Headhunter threat. Um, it's probably going to be like your Dougie players. They'll probably be pretty quick. Low HP. Uh, probably do a high amount of damage. Or they could be an assassin. Which that would be a, another dual threat character. And they uh, will do high damage like your rats. And before you guys say anything, our last card, yes, I know this card was released today, but it is Cupid Cartman. And we have been waiting for our neutral Cartman to be released. And we finally have it. I have not yet seen this card played. I don't know anybody that has it. Um, is he a tank? Does he fly? I mean, if he's a Cupid... Cartman, he would obviously have to fly, but this would be the first Cartman that is not a ground player, so that would be definitely different. Uh, he wouldn't be considered a tank anymore. He'd probably have lower HP, maybe a higher damage. We'd hope that he has a higher damage just due to the fact that he isn't a tank anymore. And that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed this series. It looks like I am going to lose this match right now. This guy is killing me, so we're going to cut this video short. And as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. See ya!